Okay, here's something very odd I've discovered. This is one of the tubes from my work shed. That light there. I've noticed recently it's having fun starting up. So, watch this. This is the end. See it's a little bit burnt. Now, I get my... This is just the more multimeter. Clip that one on there. Test for continuity. Totally open circuit. Do the other end. Oh, without breaking the tube, hopefully. Continuity. So, one filter filament, sorry, is totally open circuit. Now, we have the standard glow type switch start starter. Ah, there we go. So, just a bog standard, nothing special. It's got a little argon tube in there. Put that one in. And as you'd expect, no sign of life. It's not glowing, it's not doing anything. Now, this is the interesting bit. Let's take that one out. You can still see that's the... That's that one. Now instead... Let's put in these ones. I made a video of these before. It wasn't a very good video, I'd admit, but Fast Lux 300C, 300C starters. Electronic. I'm supposed to start the tubes very quickly and make the tubes last longer. <coughs> Remember, one filament is completely open circuit. Bloody doing it now, is it? Okay, I wonder if it matters which way round the tube's in. Let's rotate it 180 degrees. Now, oh, there you go. So it does make a difference. The weird thing I have noticed is quite a bright blue glow at one end when it starts now. But even though that tube is completely effectively dead. It still starts on these starters and that flickering is the result of the camera's shutter speed not it's not actually flickering like that so it's not um, it's quite a steady light so that's interesting. See that's a known good tube as well and that one's doing the same flickering so you can tell it's the camera. Very bizarre. <laughs> 